What's up guys, Matt here, welcome back to Minecraft Factions. Today, we are here on the Arkham server once again, and I'm going to be showing you guys today how I find my Minecraft Faction bases. Now, in my recent videos, I've had some pretty good bases to raid, and uh, a lot of the comments have been like, how are you finding these raids, how are you finding these bases, like, why can't I find any, etc, etc. So I thought, rather than just replying to the comments, i make a whole entire video about it, let you guys know how I do it, and uh, maybe you guys can take some tips from it. Then you guys can go away, go to your favourite Faction server, hopefully it's the Arkham, come on, you got the Arkham's amazing. Guys, I play on the Arkham. Come play the Arkham, but no, <laughs> whatever faction you server you play on, you can go onto there, find some raids, and uh, everywhere have a good time. But yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get straight into the first method in a second. But before we get into it, but of course, guys, before we get into it, be sure to leave a like right down below if you haven't already. It would really help me out. Let me know you want to see more stuff like this, and uh, in general, it would be awesome. So let's go for around 2,000 likes this episode. That would be awesome, guys. I know you guys can do it, and uh, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the first method of how to find some Minecraft faction bases. Let's Let's go. Alright guys, so we are over at the spawn right now, and I'm going to be showing you guys kind of the easiest one, the most well-known way to find a base, and uh, we're going to start off quite easy, and then we'll like, towards the end of the video, we'll get to the methods that I use the most, and uh, the ones that I find most efficient. Uh, but yes, yeah, so let's get into it. So, what we're going to do, you're going to start with spawn, obviously, and this guy's just following me around. Hey dude, <laughs> I'm going to call this method the dash F map method. Now, this is obviously really easy. You guys, if you've ever played factions, you guys probably know what this is, and you probably see me do it in uh, videos as well. So, essentially, what you're going to want to do is you want to start by doing a dash, F map in your cords right there, not in your chat, sorry, not in your cords. And um, it'll come with this huge map right here with a load of red dots saying war zone or like safe zone or something like that. And that's essentially because you're in spawn and you obviously you can't claim, you can't place blocks in spawn and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna head outside of here and we're actually gonna press F3 real quick. And you can see it goes X, Y, Z, F. And uh, next to the F it says North, West, South, and East. And that basically just shows which direction you're looking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go straight north because that's obviously where most people are gonna go because it's straightforward. I'm gonna go West, you can choose a random side, doesn't matter which way you go and what you want to do you want to do a dash f map on and that'll basically mean that every time you go into a new chunk if you look in the chat it will open another map and uh, essentially you just keep moving on running and running and running and uh, of course this method will take quite a long time um, because obviously you need a lot of food and you need a lot of patience to like run all the way out and just keep running and running and running until you find a base or at least a decent base so um again this method is quite like easy to do because all you gotta do is just run like this and just have food on you and uh, it's quite helpful as well to do this in the water and just get a boat or something like that is that people behind me. Yeah, there's one person following me right here. Uh, but yeah, it's really easy right here, and obviously over there, we found some claim already. Um, <laughs> pretty close to spawn right now, so obviously we're not really gonna find anything useful at all. Well, what even is this? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh my god, look at that, that's crazy. Anyway, so, as you can see in the chat down below, we're nearly out of the war zone, and um, what I'll do right now, I'll cut into about a thousand blocks out. But yeah, I'll see you guys just in a second, and hopefully we're like a thousand or two thousand blocks out, and I'll show you guys exactly what you're gonna wanna do from there. And as you guys can see right now, I am really far out into the um, into the world right now. I'm about I think I'm about 2,000 blocks out. There you go. I'm about 2,000 blocks out in total. And um, I found a claim. If I go this way, I think it was east, I think it was. Let, give me a second. It should be east-south, and you should find a bit of a claim. There we go, right there. Again, this is like a method that you need to have a lot of patience with. Like, I suggest maybe getting, like, some music in the background, like, be, watching a video on your, like, second monitor, or maybe even just being in a call with friends or something like that. It's really helpful, because uh, doing this by yourself, like, just listening to nothing in your ears, like, just constantly running, uh, it does get a bit boring. So what I suggest is just get some music on or something like that, whatever you guys want to do. And uh, also another thing you could do is get four of your friends and then do it every direction. So it's like way more efficient than just running one direction. So like one of your friends could go east, one of your friends could go south and etc etc. And uh, yeah. Uh, but other than that, I think that's about it. There's something up in that roof right there. What even is that? I don't even know. Anyway, <laughs> looks like I may have just found a sky base right there. Oh, wait. I think I just found a raided sky base up there. That's kind of weird. Anyway, so once again, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And um, I guess without further ado, let's get straight in to the next method in this video. How to find some Minecraft faction bases. Alright, so method two, I'm going to call them night vision and boat method. Uh, <laughs> kind of a weird name. Anyway, yeah, you guys kind of get the drift already if you guys kind of understand what I'm going for here. Uh, but essentially what you want to do, this one's a bit tedious as well, like it will take quite a long time and um, it's not always that effective. Um, I don't really use it that much to be fair. Uh, but what you want to do is find like an ocean, like a big ocean. I'm not too sure how big this is, I think it's a good amount. Um, and I made a few boats right here, I made a few, I went and bought a few night visions from the shop. 
And essentially what you're going to want to do is you want to basically just drink up some night vision right here. I'll chop that down. And as you can see, you can see straight in to the water right here. And over there, obviously, you can see some sand. There's obviously a base over there. Um, it looks raised. There's a few holes in it. But, um, yeah, you can see some sand down there. Essentially, you can see straight through the water. And uh, you can see, like, everything on the ground. Uh, same thing you want to do. You want to get into the boat and uh, go along. And, again, this is the type of thing you want to do with, like, a friend in the call or, like, music or something like that. Because it can get a bit tedious. And, uh, yeah, so a lot of bases, when they dig straight down into the water and when they have, like, an underground ground base, uh, what they'll do is they'll um, just leave like cobble on the top rather than having gravel again, obviously because a lot of it's gravel uh, and so I did actually set up a bit down here, there's a like 100% setup right here uh, I'll just show you guys how to do it, I'm not going to waste my time to try and find one because it'll take a very long time but um, over here, right down there, you guys kind of see that cobble right there, if I zoom in, the cobble one block above and then the cobble in the floor, just show you guys what it will look like, again, quite a hard thing to do because you have to look straight into the water and like see the right bit um, otherwise it'll be quite hard to notice, like that kind of looks like gravel down there but obviously when you zoom in you can see there's cobble um, but essentially that's what you want to do and then obviously what you want to do from there is get out of the boat Go down into the cobble and uh, dig straight down into the base again You probably go do dash f map on in this just see if you do find any claims while you're doing it uh, But I don't normally do it when I do do this and uh, let's see if we can find one right now I thought I just saw cobble over there, but apparently I didn't um, or you can see little holes like this one right here That hole right there you can see a hole straight down and it looks like um, looks like maybe a cave right here, yeah, but, um, <laughs> obviously it could be going straight down to a base, you guys never know, uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the second method, and, uh, we'll get into the good ones next one, um, the next method is one that I use quite a lot, so, uh, hopefully that you enjoy that one, it's kind of one of the best ones, I'd say, personally, uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next method. And we are here for the third method of this video. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by building up, uh, we're going to press F3 real quick and go to 200 and I think 56, I think it is. And one more, there we go. So guys, we are at the sky base limit. I can see it looks like other people have been doing it as well, like over there and stuff. And uh, I think you can go 255, I think. I'm going to go 250 just so I can get the best range. Because uh, obviously if it is 256, then I'll be able to see it quite easy from here. This method is kind of like hit or miss. Like you can hit a base or you can't. Like it's kind of just like, hopefully you do. And uh, if you don't, then it's just kind of unlucky. Why does it keep shift clicking that out? I uh, don't mean to do that. Anyway, so what you want to do is literally from there, just start blocking out. And every once in a while, I'd say like every, like, I don't know, 20 blocks or so. Uh, let's have a look up and quickly go see it. Let me put my render distance up a little bit as well. I'll put that onto a far right there. And obviously, if you have a better computer, you can go like all the way towards this. Uh, far 32 extreme. I don't know if I can run that. Can I run that? I don't know. How many? I, I've got 150 FPS. I don't know if I can run it though. <laughs> nothing's actually loaded in on the ground right now. But uh, yeah, essentially what you want to do is just start building it across and eventually you will obviously hit a sky base. And uh, this could either take like two minutes or it could take like half an hour. And obviously you could fall off like that. God freaking damn it. Finding faction bases can be extremely boring sometimes. Like it can either be fun like finding one in like a few seconds. But then it could be like not fun and finding one in like an hour. So <laughs> and that's why it's quite hard for people to find raids like constantly. And that's why like buying raids is so expensive. Especially good raids. So Obviously, most sky bases are claimed, so there's not really a point of doing dash F map. Uh, I guess you could do it if you want, just to see if you find a claim randomly. Um, but yeah, a lot of the claims are no. A lot of the sky bases recently have actually been uh, in the air unclaimed. Like a lot, if they're claimed, it's very rare. So um, obviously, you want to do keep looking along, and um, I think I'll keep doing this for a while, and uh, I'll use up all this cobble, and I'll see if I find anything with all this cobble. But yeah, I'll see you guys just in a second, and hopefully, we will find a base. <laughs> And there we go. All right, so I found a base right now. Obviously, there's been raided. There's a load of war coming out of it, but it's kind of an example that you can find bases quite easily. Um, I've only gone a little distance. If I go right this way a little bit, right down there on that beach is where I blocked up. So again, I haven't gone that far. I've obviously gone along there and then down here. It could take two minutes. It could take half an hour. You never know. But um, <laughs> again, I'll see you guys just in a second, and uh, hopefully, we can find a base. And there we go, I have used every single little bit of cobble I had right there. I think I had like one, and um, I didn't find anything. Well, I found a base right there, I guess. Uh, but again, you want to go far, oh god, 
Oh, uh, there we are, land in the wall. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say I was about to die then. But there we go, we were unsuccessful. That's what it is with factions. You may be lucky or you may not be lucky. It's as simple as that. Like, that's what factions are all about. And that's why finding bases is so hard. And some days you would just won't find any raids. And some days you'll find, like, I don't know, like three raids in a day. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And of course, you can do that in the nether and the end. But yeah, there we go for method three. That's the one I use the most out of the three so far. I use that quite a lot, actually. Um, and um, I think I've got, what have I got next? I've got two more to do. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so we are over at spawn once again, and this method is quite a risky one. Now, of course you guys all know on faction servers you have money that you can make by selling things, uh, by doing wages and stuff like that. Essentially on every server you have some money that you have by doing dash at BAL, which stands for balance, so if you guys want to see your money. And uh, you can actually buy corners for a raid, and uh, of course this could be a bit risky, as um, you'll be hit by a load of scammers, and um, they'll just try and take your money and not give you a quartz, or just give some random quartz. So what I'm going to do now, I'll try and get one that's real, and I'll show you guys Exactly how you're gonna do it. So this is how I would do it. Um, I would say in the chat, buying quads 50k. And there you go. That's what you say in chat, and you wait for people to say me. And uh, I'm gonna say 50k max. Uh 50k max. Okay, so that just basically means I'll spend up to 50k on it. There you go right there. We got a message from Trickshot Matt who said, wanna buy quads to Void X's new base. I know you just message. Sure, how much? And then what I will say is he will ask, um, he's spamming me right now. <laughs> He'll buy a price to it. I'll say yes or no. And Void X is quite a big fan, so I'm probably going to say yes. And uh, hopefully I can trust this guy. Uh, yeah, he said 50k, so I'll say just message Trickshot Mad. I'll play half now. And half after I'm at the base. And that's basically what you want to do to obviously, like, minimize your chance of getting scammed. I mean, if you do get scammed, it sucks. Dash pay trick shot mad 25,000. He said, hang on. So I'll wait until he's ready. I'm going to man 25,000. I'm going to TP to him. And hopefully he's at the base. If he's not, then I just got scammed. But of course, guys, you got to watch out for that. Uh, this truck shot mad, guys, I've talked to before. So I kind of trust him in a way. Uh, obviously, you got to try and find people that uh, don't tell Void X. Okay, I won't. Thank you. There we go. This guy's nice as well. He just said, um, KK, by the way, keep up the good work. So I'm getting ready to TP to him right now. And now we wait. Hopefully he doesn't scam me. I'm actually kind of scared right now. He's going to scam me. Okay, he said, he said, he got. <laughs> He said, okay, I'm going to treat TB to him. Please don't be a scam. Uh, I don't have any god apples on me, so if he does start hitting me, um, we're in trouble. But, okay, come on. Here we go. Here we go. We're here. There we go. He's gonna leave. Is he gonna leave? There we go. And then we'll do dash pay trick shot right there. And, uh, of course, then we can start fighting him. But I'm actually not going to start fighting him. I don't know if they, can they not see me. Am I vanished? I'm not even vanished. What the? <laughs> I'm like, I'm camouflaged. I know, but I'm going to dash with that. I'm not actually going to raid them. I don't want to raid them. I'm just showing you guys what's going on, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And, uh, yeah, I just basically wasted 50k, but I don't really mind. It's, it's all for the video, and uh, did I pay him another 25k? I didn't. Well, there we go. 25,000. There we go. And, uh, there we go. That's essentially how you buy a raid, and, uh, of course, you can do different methods. Like, you can just, you can obviously do it how you like, but um, that's how I do it. I play half before, and then half after. Um, it it really depends. Um, that's one of the most common ones that I use. I use that one and the Skybase one where you just block across uh, the most, personally. And obviously, you guys can take your preference. I've got two or three more methods, but I think I'm going to leave that video there today because it's getting, it's dragging on quite a long time right now. And uh, I think it's just over 10 minutes right now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. And uh, if you want to see more of some of this, again, leave a like rating down below. And this goes down really well. I'll be like, yo, you guys want to see more of this. And uh, I'll be sure to upload another one of this, a part two of it. And uh, I, got, I think I've got three more methods. Um, and I made, I may have a fourth, I'm not too sure. Um, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed so far, and if you want to see more raid tips like this, of like how to actually raid, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and maybe I'll make this into like a series where I show you guys how to do stuff, but uh, <laughs> other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed once again, and uh, you guys are awesome. Show support down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Faction Let's Play. Of course, subscribe if you're around here to join hashtag Team Techers, and uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and happy raiding. I'll see you guys in the next video. And by the way, that guy's O Sven. He's the O, <laughs> the o trend is like catching on. Like, look, if I do O, the O trend is catching on. O H something. Like that. <laughs> the O trend is catching on anyway. <laughs> Once again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Factions. Happy raiding.